Hello, my name is Henry Raymond. I'm from the Game Technology Center at ETH Zurich. I'll be presenting our research that we have done in collaboration with the Grafische Sammlung ETH Zurich, LGT Private Banking, and the Liechtenstein Princely Collections. At the Game Technology Center, one of our focus points is research on virtual reality and augmented reality. For virtual reality, you put on a virtual reality headset, which teleports you from the real world into the virtual world. Augmented reality is the flip side of this idea. Augmented reality takes virtual objects and brings them into our world. In this presentation, we'll be only talking about augmented reality. The concept of augmented reality is simple. A camera films the real world. A computer then uses this video to figure out what the camera is looking at. It figures out the position of other objects and the viewpoint of the camera. The computer then generates virtual 3D content that matches the camera's viewpoint. Finally, the virtual content is added to the real-world video, which produces the illusion we call augmented reality. What kind of hardware does augmented reality need? You likely already own an augmented reality device. Most modern smartphones and tablets support augmented reality. Additionally, in the future, see-through augmented reality glasses, such as Microsoft HoloLens, will likely provide us with even more intuitive augmented reality applications. At the Game Technology Center, for several years now, we have been studying how to use augmented reality technology in the context of museums. When we started working with museums, we realized that curators know much more about their art pieces than most visitors are aware of. Often, the problem is that curators lack the time and the technological capabilities to convey this knowledge to their visitors. Traditional audio guides are often rigid systems that cannot be adapted to new settings. Audio guides also tend to prevent social interactions between visitors. Mobile apps for museums have the great potential to provide information while encouraging active participation. While many museums would like to offer apps to their visitors, the production costs are often beyond their budget. Also, the production of apps has often to be outsourced, which reduces the museum's creative control. What we envision is a system which is flexible and easy to use. It should be flexible and easy to use for the museum's visitors, enabling them to choose which information they want to enjoy and at which pace. But especially the system should be flexible and easy to use for the museum's curators, allowing them to easily author and edit content. The system should also be able to adapt to new exhibitions and changing setups. The solution we propose has two parts. The first is an augmented reality app for mobile devices. The goal of the app is to offer an interactive, personalized experience which engages the visitor and allows each visitor to explore the exhibition at their own speed, following their own interest. By using augmented reality, our app can convey information in surprising, innovative, and even playful ways. The app offers three different modes of exploration. First, exploration using augmented reality. In this mode, the visitor is free to walk around and point the device at the art pieces that captivate their interest. In topic-based exploration, the focus lies on information. Visitors have access to a number of specific articles, which they can read and explore in depth. Finally, we have location-based exploration. Here, exploration is anchored in the layout of the physical space. This lets visitors navigate to those exhibited items that interest them the most. The focus of our research is exploring the potential of augmented reality to convey information. Let's look at some examples. What you see now is what a visitor would see on their screen. We are using the device's camera to look at the surroundings. Once we look at an art piece, the app presents us with several interactive areas. Tapping on one of these areas with your finger will provide you with more information. Highlighting certain parts of the art piece is a great way to point out an interesting detail to the visitor. Augmented reality also allows us to show parts of the art piece which are usually inaccessible to the general public, like the backside of this painting's wood panels. We can engage the visitor by telling the life story of the painting subject, like the girl on this painting. Here we can show later sketches and paintings so that we can see her growing up. Blending between older photographs allows us to show the restoration process. 
By using a parallax effect, we can let the visitor explore a scene in three dimensions. We believe that play is an important part of exploration. That's why we've devised several playful interactions. This painting contains plenty of symbolic details, which are not understood by most visitors. By encouraging visitors to find the details, we can explain their symbolism as a reward. You despicable drunkards! Your wine flask is much bigger than your water jug! Shame on you! Here, a bronze horse statue comes to life and explains its historical context. Targeting a young audience, here visitors can place their own face in a painting. This is great for sharing on social media. The second part of our solution is our platform. The app cannot work on its own. It is extremely important that the museum's curators can continuously add, edit, and adapt content, depending on the current needs and the setup of the museum. That's why our platform also offers a web curation tool. This is where the curators can control the capabilities of the app. This is how our platform works. Curators can create their own augmented reality experience at their computer in our easy-to-use web curation tool. This tool works on any computer with internet access. The augmented reality content is then sent to our servers, which stores the content for later use. Finally, once the visitor opens the app in the exhibition, the app will download the newest content from the server. What's important here is that the app's content is not fixed. Content creation can therefore be a continuous process. Any addition or change that the creator makes will be available in the app within seconds. Take for instance this painting. Imagine we would like to point out how amazingly the girl's eyes are painted. On the creation tool, we can open that painting, add an interaction with an image, set the label, add the image that highlights the eyes, which we want to show as an augmented reality overlay, and add our thoughts about the eyes. Once we've added the interaction, it appears as a point in the center of the art piece. We can then choose where the point should go. Right here next to the eyes seems good. We can now open the app and look at the art piece again. Our newly added interaction is already there. One other important aspect of our platform is that we track the visitor's telemetry data while they use the app. We can look at this data right here in the creation tool. This data allows us to determine what visitors look at and how they move through the exhibition. This immediate feedback can also be helpful for editing the content, as we can observe which parts of the app the visitors are most interested in. Let's now have a look at our results. In 2018, we set up a first experimental exhibition during the Digital Tag in the Kunstmuseum Vaduz. Here are a few impressions. We did a survey among the visitors of the exhibition. Among other things, we asked them if they liked the augmented reality experiences. Overall, the feedback was very positive. We also asked them if they wished there would be more augmented reality technology in museums. Once again, the responses were very positive. Since then, we have used our platform at other exhibitions. In 2019, researchers at the Department of Environmental System Science at ETH Zurich used our platform to present their research into soil bacteria at ETH's pavilion at the Alma Agricultural Fair. TEDx Zurich also used our platform for an exhibition that celebrated the 10-year anniversary in 2019. Together with the Grafische Sammlung ETH Zurich, we are currently developing a first full-scaled exhibition. This exhibition, called Crossing Parallels, presents the works of Karachi and Holzius. We feel fortunate to have the opportunity to develop a platform together with the Grafische Sammlung and Liechtenstein Princely Collections. This enables us to continuously improve the platform based on their feedback and work towards larger exhibitions in the future. We are looking forward to welcoming you at the Crossing Parallels exhibition. Thank you for your attention.